you're looking for your home right now and you want to get pre-approved, stop the process right now until you watch this video. And even if you are pre-approved right now, still watch this video. Because what I'm about to tell you, the banks, the lenders, any other real estate professional probably won't tell you this. As a matter of fact, the banks, the lenders, the credit unions, they don't want me to tell you this stuff either. Okay, first of all, I was never here and we never spoke. Hmm. Tell us what we're dealing with. My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities area. I make weekly videos about Long Beach, living in Long Beach, the cost of, things to do, this and that, all this really, really cool stuff. So hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell for future notifications so you can see when I put up a video every single week. I'm gonna try to kick that up to two though. All right, well today's topic, they don't want you to know about. So if you're looking to buy a house in the next 30 days, six months, 12 months from now, this video is a must watch. Now, why is that? Now, all home buyers deserve their best shot to get pre-approved. And when they do get pre-approved, they deserve the best competitive interest rate there is, period. And be teamed up with a lender who is extremely efficient with absolutely no overlays and get the most amount of money pre-approved for and deserve to save as much as possible on their mortgage payment and possibly even the closing costs at the time of negotiations. So I am going to tell you how to accomplish this and it will be the least path of resistance for you. So just a quick analogy. Let's say you're a golfer and you want to just bring up your game to that next level, kick it up a notch, impress your friends a little bit more. So you start to do research on YouTube uh, you start reading vlogs, you start talking to people, you start doing all, all the research necessary for you. So you take all those small adjustments and you implement them, achieving all of your expectations that you might not have thought have been possible. That is what this information is going to do for you in the realm of buying a home. So let's dive into that nasty business of buying a home. Now, in my career, I can't tell you how many times I've met people where they said, yeah, I tried to get pre-approved, but I got denied. And well, when I start looking into it, it's like, you really shouldn't have. Or they might not get uh, pre-approved for as much as they wanted. Or maybe their lender just wasn't quite experienced enough and didn't have the knowledge where they could have just tweaked one or two things on their credit score to increase it, which results in a better interest rates, which results in saving thousands of dollars on your mortgage payment. Or maybe the first realtor they dealt with didn't do their homework on the differences between banks, credit unions, mortgage lenders, and did not understand how critical this decision is for you. So as a result of this, we have home buyers not getting pre-approved, too much money in lenders fees, not getting pre-approved for the full amount that people really, really wanted to be at. And as any realtor can tell you, deals do fall out of escrow after being put into contract. And then being told later that they can't buy and that they're just wasting time and they're wasting money. When all of that could have been avoided. Because of these scenarios and others, this has caused me to go to work so I can make sure that I find the best deals that are out there, period. I want to make sure I connect you to an expert who is professional, knowledgeable, has the best deals with the best rates. So I know this is extremely important to the home buyer. Therefore, you deserve to be partnered up with the best to achieve the best results. So for the sake of time, I'm only going to talk about two of the biggest enemies for home buyers lender overlays now i think it's pretty safe to say about 95 percent of banks uh, institutions credit unions they all have overlays when you're applying for a home loan you don't want that you're serious you don't know now you're probably asking yourself well still what is an overlay well fannie mae and freddie mac 
put out their rules and regulations on what it takes to qualify for a home loan. Now each institution on that puts together their own regulations on top of that. Therefore your overlay. And what they are is they're just being conservative because after all it is their money. Making it more difficult for the home buyer to get pre-approved or for the amount of money that they want to get pre-approved for. This is not the path of least resistance. So now here is just a quick little example about a bank with overlays and a bank without overlays on a simple checking account. Okay, now the bank with overlays. Members must pay $10 a year for a debit card. Checking accounts do not pay any interest and only 10 written checks per month or else a fee is going to occur. Now the banks without any overlays whatsoever, free debit card, unlimited checks per month, an account pays 2% over balances over $500. As you can see, the bank with no, no overlays is clearly the best choice. Now I can't tell you how many times this has happened to me in my real estate career. I'll run into somebody and they'll tell me, ah, I've already been pre-qualified, but I got pre-qualified for 575 or 550. And I really wanted 625 because the median price here in Long Beach of a home is 610. So they wanted to try to be in that medium range and everything, but they got pre-approved a little too low. So they go out looking for homes and they just find stuff that they're gonna have to settle on instead of just really, really fall in love with. They get really discouraged and don't want to settle and pretty much either toss it out or let's just wait to see what happens. Okay, but luckily they ran into me. I hook them up with my lender. It gets them pre-approved to right around that range where they were looking for. That's the game changer. So why is that and what is the overlay that prevented them from getting pre-approved to that amount in the first place? Now when Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae set their regulations to qualify for a home loan, they include debt to income ratio. Now most lenders can only go up to 46%, but when you have a lender with no overlay, you can go up to 56.9%. Now that's big difference. Also, the minimum uh, requirements for credit for most lenders is around 620, but with an institution with no overlays, they can go down to 580, possibly even lower. So these are just examples of how overlays can affect your home buying experience. Now, the second enemy here is the lender's inefficiency and lack of knowledge. Yeah, I know that sounds kind of harsh, but it is reality. Now, any realtor can tell you a contract with a home can fall through. And that usually has to deal with something the lender should have caught on the front end. This is caused by lenders not efficiently doing their work on the front end and also proactively not looking for issues that may arise because you don't want that either. It could be something just so small from the lender not verifying income or not verifying funds just something that minute that's an everyday thing with the lender should not pass. But that's the only reason why it causes, because of the overlays. But it wouldn't be an issue with a lender with no overlays. So this is what's causing home buyers money and time that shouldn't have to be. Again, so this is why it is very important for you, the home buyer, to be connected to a lender who is very efficient, has a great reputation of getting it done, and look for a lender with no overlays. Now, another huge bonus here would be finding a lender with a background of credit repair. For those of you who are just right on the fence, you're just right, you're ready to qualify, you're right, or even if you're in that 800 and you just want a better rate to save you thousands of dollars on your mortgage payment. If you have a lender that has a background in credit repair, they can look at your portfolio. So they look for those little opportunities in your portfolio that they can correct to give you the better rate to save you thousands of dollars on your mortgage payment. So how do we find the best of both worlds? So you know I didn't do all this research, put together this little video, 
do all this work just to say, all right, that's what you need. Of course I took that little extra level of research and I found that lender. So the lender I have found, interviewed, selected to be my personal lender, he has so many online reviews that I, I couldn't count them all. He has never ever written a letter of pre-qualification or pre-approval that has not gone through escrow. And this lender has absolutely no overlays whatsoever. You can contact me in all my links down below. Just click the show more button. Boom, and all my information's there. Now, even if you're in the process right now with another realtor, you can still reach out to me and I will give you this information. And if you're another realtor and you want to know who this lender is and you want some help yourself, go ahead and reach out to me. I will give you this information too. After all, our main goal here is to help the home buyer to achieve their goal. So hopefully you found some helpful information in this video. If you did, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications. Until next time, take care. At the closing. And is there to say. So tell me again, where's the lake? Right there. And where's the summer camp? Right over there. I'll take it. Now, I am obligated to disclose that the previous owners were murdered in this house. <laughs> Whoa, buddy, quit drilling. You already struck all... That's all, folks.